Now, we hear that you were the captain of the yes. cheer squad, and you racked up four years of perfect attendance. Not too shabby, <laughs> Cheryl. Not too shabby. Yes. Well, we've all got great attendance at the Bud Bilka Parade over the yes. years, too. ABC7 <laughs> has been there every year, bringing you some incredible moments. So, to start things off, we've rounded up some favorite highlights and look at the impressive roster of big names who have graced the Bud. From the heart-pounding music of marching bands and the precision of drill teams to dancers' fantastic footwork and tumbling that takes your breath away, they're the moments that make up the historic Bud Billiken Parade. It's the largest African-American parade in the, in the country. There are all kinds of celebrities, politicians, and other dignitaries that have been in this parade because they understand the importance of this event. Well, you know, we do this every year. It's a wonderful way to send our children back off to school. It's the food. It's generations coming together. And I think that's why everybody continues to be a part of it. That support has even come from some of the biggest names in show business. Parade Grand Marshals range from sports legends like Joe Lewis and the greatest himself to music greats Diana Ross and Aretha Franklin. In fact, a double bill Grand Marshal moment is one that parade organizer Mark Sainstack will never forget. James Brown walked out first. Muhammad Ali walked out behind him. I was standing right next to him. And Muhammad Ali said to James Brown, quit writing love letters and let's go. <laughs> and Chicago's homegrown stars make sure to be a part of the magic year after year. I've been coming here for about uh, 60 years yeah. <laughs> and still enjoying it. Celebrities say that the Bud Billy can raise them. To them, it's a homecoming. Common took a break from the big screen to come back to the Windy City and celebrate the Bud back in 2007. Yeah, I'm in American Gangster, which is coming out in November. Um, a movie called Wanted that they're filming in Chicago right now with Angelina Jolie and Morgan Freeman. Make sure y'all look out. Then three short years ago, it was time for Chicago's own Chance the Rapper to take over Grand Marshal duty. It's a lot of love here, you know what I'm saying? People footworking, people are barbecuing. You know what the bud is? Why are you at home watching this right now? Why are you not here? Chance the Rapper gave away thousands of book bags. They see it as that, that wonderful opportunity to have that personal touch with their community. Michael Jordan, rapper T.I., we've had a slew of comedians. And who can forget the late, great Bernie Mac? You know what? I used to be called a food, you know? You know what? It's a beautiful thing. In 2014, R&B legend Shaka Khan returned to her Chicago roots. And the parade action inspired plenty of memorable moments from our ABC7 family, too. You just can't help but join in the fun. Bud Billiken is about family. It's about having fun. It's about coming together and celebrating what makes people feel good. Good afternoon. My name is Maiti Singh Stack Rice, and I am the CEO of the Chicago Defender Charities. We'd like to welcome you to the 91st year of the Bud Billiken Parade. While we aren't able to celebrate along Chicago's historic King Drive this year, we certainly hope that you are able to feel the spirit of the parade in this broadcast. For nearly a century, the Bud Billiken Parade has been educating and empowering our community as well as supporting local arts organizations that provide programming to kids all over the world. We know that with your support, we can continue to impact these dance teams, drill teams, and bands who have worked so hard to showcase their talents for many years. Thank you again, and we hope you enjoy the show. The Bud Billiken Parade attracts some big celebrities, but we all know the talented young performers in the dance and drill teams are the real stars in the largest African-American parade in the U.S. Well, while they won't be performing along the parade route and wowing the crowds, we caught up with some Bud Billiken regulars performing recently. Here's a Bud Billiken dance team spotlight with a little help from ABC7's Terrell Brown, the ultimate threat dancers kick it all off.
Ohio team, Summer Bling. And I mean, wh what would it be if we didn't see them perform? So everybody give it up. Here they are. B O T. of the parade organizer, Chicago Defender Charities, to impact young people through arts and education. Now, anyone who attends the Bud Billiken Parade has seen it for themselves. Entire generations mm -hmm. of families coming together to enjoy the festivities. Yeah, JR. In fact, my own family has been coming to this parade for decades. My parents and my siblings, all four of them, we would come every year. So, you know what? Let's take a look back at the rich family tradition here at the Bud Billiken Parade. This is a 40-year experience for me. I've got a first-time parade goer here. How many years have you been coming here? Ever since I can remember, because my mother started bringing me. Okay. They were two. She came out to the very first Bud Billiken Day Parade. How many times have you come out since then? I haven't missed the one. I've been coming here 50 years. And who is this trying to grab the mic? This is me. Yeah. She's two years old. This is her first time at Bud Billiken. Whether you're 109, whether you're nine years old, or nine months old, it doesn't make a difference. It's all about the kids. Who is with you here? Oh, my kids, my grandchildren, and my great great grandchildren so happy to bring my first grandbaby out here she is one year old her name is Daisha this is her first Bud Billiken parade the Bud is something that's traditional and you know a, a place where families can come you know it's nothing but family and friends and uh, it's a lot of times that we're a stereotype of not being together as a unity but this is a big family day I introduce you now to Robert Jordan of WGN Channel 9 and his daughter Karen Yay! You know what, this is truly a day when we're all family, literally. This is my dad. Hi, Karen. It's so good to be here. I got four generations of family with me today. Every year I bring my grandkids down here to watch the parade, and they enjoy it so much. The best seat in the house yes. on daddy's yep. shoulders. Okay. Stay with us, everybody. There is still much more ahead here on the Bud Billiken, celebrating 91 years. Coming up, see how Chicago's historic back-to-school parade actually got its start with a newspaper. And it may be King Drive, but it's also a critical campaign trail. This is common in one of my greatest Bud Billiken Day Parade memories is when President Obama was in 2007. I got up to do a speech, and he came and tapped me on my shoulder. I didn't know it was him. And, um... I just kept speaking because I was in the mode. And then later on, you know, um, I, I finished and my friends told me, yo, you didn't feel that was President, that was Senator Obama tapping you on the shoulder. Like, he was coming to join you on stage, but you didn't make, turn around and acknowledge us. So I was like, oh. Anyway, that was one of my favorite memories, just having our first black president before he was president be a part of the parade and me being there and him rocking fine and forever. I love the Bud Billiken Parade and I love you, Chicago. Bud Billiken, celebrating 91 years. Sponsored by BMO Harris Bank, University of Chicago Medicine, LinkedIn, The Field Museum, Littleton Claims, Noble Charter Schools. At the University of Chicago Medicine, dedicated health professionals work with organizations, community partners, and educators to raise awareness about pediatric asthma in our communities. Asthma is a lifelong condition controlled by eliminating triggers like dust, pet hair, and smoke. Wheezing and trouble breathing are symptoms. See a doctor if you think your child has asthma. Parents with an asthmatic child need a plan. Tell your child's school they have asthma and make sure they always carry a rescue inhaler. Children with controlled asthma can enjoy a normal quality of life. Mercury, Venus, I love Earth. It has beautiful colors mixed together, and I like it. Maybe other people are going to invent new space cars that has oxygen and a microwave. 
Get Start College Savings, its investment objectives, risks and costs, read the official statement available online. Check with your home state to learn if it offers tax or other benefits for investing in its own 529 plan. To the heroes among us, thank you for your tireless efforts. ComEd is working hard to keep the lights on and provide assistance to those facing financial hardship. Now, more than ever, we're here to help power everything we need to get through this together. To learn more about customer assistance options, visit ComEd.com slash support. Devices are like doorways that could allow hackers into your home. And like all doors, they're safer when locked. That's why you need Xfinity XFi. With the XFi gateway, devices connected to your home's Wi-Fi are protected, which helps keep people outside from accessing your passwords, credit cards, and cameras, and people inside from accidentally visiting sites that aren't secure. And if someone tries, we'll let you know. XFi Advanced Security. If it's connected, it's protected. Get Xfinity Internet and ask how to upgrade your in-home Wi-Fi. Switch today. Welcome back to Bud Billiken, celebrating 91 years. Hello, Chicago. I'm Mary Lori Lightfoot. And I'm First Lady Amy Eshelman. And we are both very glad to welcome you to the ABC7 Chicago Celebrates Bud Billiken Special. Over 90 years ago, Robert Singstack Abbott, the founder and owner of the Chicago Defender, wanted to thank the children who sold his newspapers. So he decided to plan a parade. Nine decades later, the Bud Billiken Parade is the largest African-American parade in the country. Bud Billiken, the namesake of this parade and the fictional editor of the Defender Junior Page, was described as the guardian and protector of children. Let's recommit ourselves to upholding Billiken's virtues and mission. And let's build a city and a future where our children can grow, succeed, and thrive beyond their wildest imaginations. Thank you. A special thank you to Mayor Lightfoot and First Lady Amy Eshelman for being a part of Bud Billiken celebrating 91 years. Welcome back, everybody, to the show. We are here at my alma mater, Lynn Bloom Math and Science Academy, and we both know that the Bud Billiken Parade is a wonderful way to showcase young talent and celebrate the start of another school year. But as the mayor so eloquently explained, this historic parade all began with a newspaper and one man's dream to help his fellow African Americans find a better life. ABC 7's Karen Jordan has a story. The Chicago Defender newspaper was founded by Robert Sunstack Abbott in 1905. Mr. Abbott is my grand uncle. That's my great grand uncle, and he was pretty much what they called the Pied Piper of the Great Northern Migration. Starting in 1915 and lasting over decades, more than 500,000 African Americans migrated from the South to Chicago to find work. Mr. Abbott felt that things were much better for African Americans in Northern cities. Here in Chicago, one burgeoning community where so many families were settling was Bronzeville. In fact, The Defender was first published out of Abbott's apartment in the South Side neighborhood. People would gather around like they're watching their favorite television show and listen as the person would read what they call from cover to cover, front to back of the entire newspaper. In 1921, Mr. Abbott wanted to do something for children. He started a section in the newspaper called Chicago Defender Junior. It included an application for the Bud Billigan Club. You see, Billiken was known as a protector of children. But Mr. Abbott's dreams went well beyond that children's newspaper section. He wanted to do more. He wanted to say thank you to the young men that were selling the newspaper, rain, sleet, or snow. One day, he gave them some bikes and decorated them. Then everybody would say, come join our parade. Plenty of those newsboys had lots of talent, too. They would sing and dance along the makeshift parade route. In fact, there was so much talent, Abbott eventually formed the Bud Billiken Club Band. And you may know some of those members who got their start. Jazz legend Lionel Hampton and crooner Nat King Cole. The Bud Billiken Parade continues to showcase the impressive young talent 
cultivated right here in Chicago. It is about providing children with a chance to be in the limelight, and it is also about exciting children, about going back to school. I'm just so grateful because I'm in my dream job, doing what I want to do, and I love doing this. I feel responsible for continuing his legacy. Thank you, Karen. Now, right along with the band and the floats mm -hmm. you typically see each Billiken mm -hmm. Day, yeah. you know you're also going to see anyone who is running for office. Jose, you know that's right. The Bud Billiken is the place for politicians. Future presidents. A shout out to Malia and Sasha, our daughters. They're watching it all. They better be watching it all. Former presidents, congressmen, and senators. My platform is to rebuild America, to rebuild this country both physically and spiritually. To and governors. Here you're on the campaign trail as well. Well, we're on the reading trail. We want kids to be ready for school. The many mayors. Happy budget. And all ranks of city and county government. It's a big county and uh, we're trying to get all over. Some even twirling a baton along the way. They've all marched and mingled with the voters right here at the Bud Billiken Parade. The parade has become a rite of passage to prove your street cred with the African American community. You needed to be there. In fact, you wanted to be there. From Democrats to Republicans, <laughs> they all show up at the Bud Billiken Parade. In fact, the meteoric rise of the nation's first African-American president has roots right here at this historic Southside parade. Going to that parade was a very wise choice for Obama, particularly because he wasn't from Chicago originally. He came here as a newcomer and wanted to get into politics. That was back in the late 90s as Barack Obama earned a seat in the Illinois Senate. The groundswell of support just grew and grew with every parade appearance for this young senator. He didn't just come when he was running for office, he came every year, and that's also something that people watch for. Look at the sea of humanity for Barack Obama. This is without a doubt the largest contingent. <laughs> she has been coming to the parades ever since you were what, five or six? Six. What's the favorite part of the parade? Obama was big. <laughs> This is my old district, this is where things started, and these are all the people who have had my back for a long time. He came down King Drive and it was huge, he had so much support. That atmosphere surrounding Obama throughout his entire candidacy, we could tell that he was destined to be president. Stay with us, everybody. There's much more ahead on Bud Billiken celebrating 91 years. Next, they're real showstoppers. Go behind the scenes of two standout groups that get the Bud Billiken crowds on their feet year after year and see a powerful musical tribute for racial justice. I was a kid. I was probably eight years old. And I went with my dad because he used to work for Streets and Sanitation, so he used to, uh, you know, be out there, like, organizing the parade and stuff. And uh, I went with my dad and we were walking the parade, and I met uh, my life's idol, uh, the greatest entertainer of all time, was there, Michael Jackson, in the flesh. And he came and, you know what I'm saying, dapped me up, gave me a hug, took a picture with me. And I found out a few years ago that he was a Michael Jackson impersonator and not actually Michael Jackson. Uh, but in my heart, he is. And I met Michael Jackson. And I just feel like that's what the butt is overall. It's, a, uh, it's an opportunity for kids to see their dreams realized. Hi, I'm Lieutenant Governor Juliana Stratton. You know, I come from a family of educators. And so I'm always thrilled to celebrate the Bud Billiken Parade. I know we can't gather together, and we're doing this virtually this year, but always remember that education is at the very heart and soul of the Bud Billiken Parade. Remember to do everything with excellence, never settle for anything less, and always remember that you are our ancestors' wildest dreams.
How does it feel to be the first or only in your respective industry? For me, I'm like finally at the stage where I'm like more confident in who I am and I'm like, I'm not gonna change who I am just because of who you are. You start yeah. losing your identity exactly. to fit in. It's hard for me in the workplace because I feel like I had to sometimes change a little bit about myself to fit in or to just show them that I could get the, the job done. One of my personal goals is to make my organization look like the people that I walk by every day in the streets. I work here at the museum. I was an intern in the Echo Department. We learned about different communities and different neighborhoods. Hi, my name is Levi. I participated in the Calumet in My Backyard program. One thing I learned about myself is that I have an incredible capacity to lead and to build community with others to create a better world for everyone. I learned so many things. It exposed me to different people that I would have never met. So absolutely mind the word that comes up for me is life changing because I think about all the new things that I learned and it's part of me now. Hi, this is Illinois State Treasurer Michael Ferrix. I want to congratulate Bud Billigan for 91 years of celebration and for being the longest running African American parade in the country. I've made great memories at Bud Billigan. We unfortunately couldn't parade this year, but we're keeping the excitement alive for our children. I want all young people to have the opportunity to pursue their educational dreams. Families across Illinois are saving for the rising cost of higher education with Bright Start, Illinois' gold-rated 529 college savings plan. Bright Start is proud to sponsor Bud Billiken again this year. Please visit brightstart.com to learn how you can start saving for a child's future. Welcome back to Bud Billiken, celebrating 91 years. Greetings. I'm your third ward alderman, Pat Dowell. And in these times of uncertainty, one thing is certain. We're all in this together. Whether we're fighting racial injustice or a global pandemic, it's important that we band together in love and understanding. Let's unite in the spirit of Bud Billiken for today, for tomorrow, and for many years to come. Hi Chicago, Sophia King here, Alderman of the Fourth Ward. While we are not kicking off the start of the school year in traditional Bud Billiken fashion, we are all still excited about the upcoming school year. Remember to stay strong, encouraged, and motivated, knowing that we will all get through this together. was Aya Ito, a talented young singer-songwriter who was compelled to add her voice to the Black Lives Matter movement in the form of her new song, Don't Take My Life. Thanks to Aya for her powerful performance. You know, we can't talk about highlights of any Bud Billiken parade without turning a big spotlight on this crowd favorite. Every year, you hear the roar of the crowd when we simply spot them in the distance. Of course, I'm talking about the South Shore Drill Team. The crowd goes crazy. People say that they have chills when they're watching the drill team come down the street. We don't always just 
walk in a straight line down parade. Sometimes you got to move when you walk in, so you got to skip a little bit. The South Shore Drill Team is an institution that's been going on for 40 years, and it's a team that has the support and admiration of the entire city of Chicago. Ladies and gentlemen, for your viewing and listening pleasure, this is the South Shore Drill Team. The kids really enjoy Bud Billiken because that is their time to show out for the home team. The crowd always wants to see the drill team. We're just the scene of the party. These kids have done just about everything. The kids have traveled all over the state, all over the country, and even internationally. President Obama came to our 25th anniversary show, performing at his inauguration. That was a lot of fun. My favorite memory has been performing at the All-Star Arena with Chance the Rapper. That was by far my favorite. Anyone watching the South Shore Drill Team would see months and months of practice and they'll see precision, they'll see passion, they'll see excitement. When you're on the street, like, and you're feeling like, you're feeling the crowd, they're cheering for you, the music playing, like you're in your own zone, just, just feel alive. The team was created as an outlet for all the negative activity that young people face, such as gangs, drugs, teenage pregnancy. I'm getting more discipline. Uh, I learned how to control myself better. I'm learning more and more responsibility and how to take accountability for my actions. It keeps you busy. You can't just like want to be here one day and then gone the next. Like you have to have commitment. It's very heartwarming to see such a strong institution here on the south side of Chicago and to see that the kids want to come back to the drill team. It's like a brotherhood and a sisterhood. Like we're all we're all part of one big family. We always have a connection with each other. We have laughs and we motivate each other when we all feeling down. This is like one of my passions, so I really take pride in this. We want to keep the legacy going. I just hope that things keep moving forward and the team continues to grow and be here for another 40 years. The South Shore Drill Team is certainly one of the highlights year after year. But another act that gets all the heads to turn when they appear in the bud is not a drill team or band, but an energetic troop of tumblers led by Illinois' own Secretary of State, Jesse White. Okay, we're going to summer sauce. My philosophy of life is that once you become successful, you give back. And every day, you must do something good for someone. That's how I run my life. You likely know him best as the name on your driver's license. Jesse White is the first African-American to be Illinois Secretary of State, an office he's held 22 years now. But you probably also spotted this spry 86-year-old at the helm of his famous team, the Jesse White Tumbler. He runs the program from his old town training center. Wait, raise your back, raise your back. But the team began more than 60 years ago when White was a school teacher, tasked with putting on a show in his school's gym. The Tumblers evolved into a rigorous and elite program that expects a lot of its student athletes. We have strict rules and regulations. Young people cannot drink, smoke, swear, drop out of school, or dislike anyone because of race, creed, or color. We've had over 18,000 young people to come through it. We do about 1,500 shows a year. It's meant a lot, a lot of opportunities. We got to travel out of the country, gotten scholarships or whatnot, and just meeting a lot of different people. And each August, the Jesse White Tumblers delight the crowd that flock to the Bud Billiken Parade. Jesse White Tumblers, they're a big staple in our community. We love them. In fact, Secretary White even recruited a new member along the route one year. Oh, Lord, they're coming at me really fast. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, oh, you all shouldn't have made me do this. <laughs> sure, you're a bona fide member of the Jesse White Tumbler team. <laughs> all right, sure. The incredible acrobatics are crowd pleasers year after year. But while entertaining the audience is fun, White's real mission is about inspiring these talented students. It's like a faucet, a faucet of giving and love. You know, it just continue to help people all the time. I remind the young people in life, we always want them to look up and aim high and work hard toward being the best that they can be. The only time we want them to look down in life is to tie their shoes. 
Stay with us. There's much more ahead on Bud Billiken celebrating 91 years. Coming up, forget the dance floor. The Bud gets everyone moving right on the street. And traditions run deep for a Chicago dance company hosting five generations of Billiken performers. Bud Billiken celebrating 91 years. Sponsored by ComEd, Facebook, Lurie Children's Hospital, Capital One, Chicago Realtors Association, the Service Employees International Union. I've seen this before. Wallet way too big, skinny jeans too skinny. I'll just carry it. Before you break something, you should know you don't actually need a wallet. With Be More Harris, you can just take cash out with your phone. Or if you need to, you can pay them with Zelle. That works? Yeah. You're stuck, aren't you? Smile. Woo! Those jeans are way too tight. That feeling you get when no wallet is no big deal. That's the BMO effect. To the heroes among us, thank you for your tireless efforts. ComEd is working hard to keep the lights on and provide assistance to those facing financial hardship. Now, more than ever, we're here to help power everything we need to get through this together. To learn more about customer assistance options, visit ComEd.com slash support. The weekend starts now. three-row GMC Acadia. Now everyone can get GM employee pricing on most 2020 GMC SUV models. Use it to get nearly 7,300 total value on this Acadia Denali. We are professional grade GMC. Cook County Health and Providence Hospital of Cook County are honored to be part of this year's Bud Billiken celebration. When Dr. Daniel Hale Williams first opened Providence Hospital in 1891, the institution provided health care to African Americans at a time when care was being denied to people of color. We are proud to continue Dr. Williams' mission. We also want to remind families that staying healthy throughout the school year starts with visiting your doctor for back-to-school physicals and vaccinations. Call to make an appointment today. Hi everyone, I'm Sam Stewart, District Manager with T-Mobile and Metro by T-Mobile. We stand behind Bud Billiken's mission to promote education and empowerment. And we're grateful to be a part of the celebration once again. I hope everyone has a fun and safe start to the school year. Welcome back to Bud Billiken celebrating 91 years. As the CEO of Chicago Public Schools, I'm excited to be a part of the 91-year-old tradition of the Bud Billiken Parade, which has showcased our talented youth and promoted education as they begin to prepare for another school year. Thank you to the hardworking dance and drill teams, as well as the marching bands who take part each year. Though we can't celebrate together this year, please don't let that dim your excitement for another year on your educational journey. We're all behind you. I'd like to also give a very special thank you to the Seamstack family for keeping this important legacy alive. Welcome back, everybody, to Bud Billiken celebrating 91 years. Thanks to Dr. Jackson for her message to all the students out there. Well, you know, anyone who has ever stood out along King Drive on Billiken Day will tell you, once the music starts going, you just can't help but let that beat get you moving. Right? All right, yeah, you know, there's always dancing along the parade route. ABC 7's Jarrell Brown has a look. There's amazing footwork everywhere you look at the Bud Billiken Parade, and the B is infectious for both young. Uh oh, shake it, shake your group thing, get jiggy with them, and the not so young. So they, they just come right out of the stands. Yes. Even fearless first responders break out the moves. But we TV broadcasters are not to be outdone at the Bud. Ew, no. But show me the little dance move we were doing a little bit earlier. Come on, let me see if I got it. 
It's Tony Schofield out here embarrassing myself live on King Drive, okay? You know me. There we go. I will never miss a chance. Pick up a few new moves. Okay. Now watch me whip, whip. Watch me do that. Hey, I do the stanky leg. Do the stanky leg. Do the stanky leg. Hey, do the stanky leg. <laughs> Okay, Terrell, we see you. <laughs> so it is easy to see why dancing is such an important part of the Butt Billiken Parade with the city's elite dance teams all performing in the parade regularly. And yet most have a long history at the parade, but one troupe can boast five generations of history in the dance world and, of course, at the Bud. My great-grandmother started a group in 1952. That was Louise Hubbard. Her dance group was called the Golden Gate. Then her daughter, Cleo, followed in her footsteps. We was the drum majorettes because at that time we used batons. I guess she wanted to do what her mama was doing. I wanted to do what my mama was doing. My dance group is Silver Star Fighters. Now it's Sylvia's daughter, Shakuna, who's keeping the dancing tradition alive. BOT started as an after-school program. I've uh, seen a lot of kids who didn't have anything to do after they get out of school. Once I started it, I kind of wanted to like branch off into a bigger era. This fourth-generation dance company is bringing out talent for BOT. And the main event they train for is always the Bud Billiken Parade. It's just a big part of the community. It's a part of the kids um, having something to do all summer. It's just a big part of our culture. But COVID-19 changed everything. It's very emotional. This is something that we look forward to doing every year. To make matters worse, student enrollment at her studio on the southwest side is down. And finances are tough. Right now, I'm self-funded. I'm doing mostly everything on my own. I do have help during the summer, which is OTC. Open the Circle is a nonprofit that we started about three years ago in Chicago, and it's really designed to empower the black Chicago dance community, especially the youth. Over the last few years, we've been able to start my entire uh, before summer camp, which is the first of its kind. This is really the most important place, is serving these kids. Dancers at Bringing Out Talent have benefited from those camps and continue to hone their craft right here. Love about dancing, you can express yourself when you're sad, it picks you up, dance brings life to anything. We just love the art of it, it's just a way to express yourself. So without the bud, Shakuna decided to stage a competition, offer the spotlight to other local dance teams. We're going to have a lot of the teams that do participate in the Bud Billiken Parade. We're going to still have them come out and perform and just have fun. The host team did not disappoint. And it should come as no surprise. One of those proud BOT dancers is now the fifth generation. Destined and golden and just like honoring, basically. I'm so proud I can't even cry no more. It's got to keep going on and on and on and on. <laughs> Cut it. <laughs> OMG, wow, did you catch that? Two double splits. <laughs> so impressive. Two splits. Okay. <laughs> it really is. The Bud Billiken has created its own performance league to help foster a network of more than 200 dance and drill teams all over Chicago. And, of course, BOT is one of them. All right, stay with us, everybody. There is still more to come on Bud Billiken celebrating 91 years. Next, see why there's no better way to help usher in another school year than the Bud. And find out how the parade is helping to give a boost to some of the city's best and brightest high school grads. to be the first or only in your respective industry for me I'm like finally at the stage where I'm like more confident in who I am and I'm like I'm not gonna change who I am just because of who you are you start yeah. losing your identity exactly. to fit in it's hard for me in the workplace because I feel like I had to sometimes change a little bit about myself 
to fit in or to just show them that I could get the, the job done. One of my personal goals is to make my organization look like the people that I walk by every day in the streets. With Metro by T-Mobile, Tamira rules. While setting her sights, refining her skills, and taking the steps to move up. She's putting in the work to get promoted to center court. Thanks to the best unlimited plan in wireless. Get one line of unlimited, just 40 bucks when you switch. All on T-Mobile's nationwide 5G network. Metro by T-Mobile. That's all Tamira needs to rule her day. Back to school is very different this year. From classroom safety to online lessons. How Chicago area schools are adapting to the pandemic. Return to Learning starts Monday on ABC7 Eyewitness News at 6 a.m. Hi, my name is Melissa Washington, and I'm Senior Vice President of Government and External Affairs at ComEd. Like the Bud Billiken Parade, ComEd is committed to supporting youth, especially from underrepresented communities, by helping them realize their goals through scholarships and through valuable, diverse programming. This year, I'm honored to recognize London Roddy Jones as one of the recipients of the Bud Billiken Scholarship. Comet is proud to support this scholarship opportunity. Congratulations. At BMO Harris Bank, we've supported the Bud Billiken Parade for over 20 years. BMO has a long history in the city of Chicago, and my colleagues and I are so proud to be part of this community. While our employees will miss marching in the parade with Hubert and the BMO float, volunteering and enjoying the festivities in person this year, we are still excited to celebrate the history and spirit of this longtime Chicago tradition with all of you today. Congratulations to the Bud Billiken Parade on 91 fun and amazing years. Welcome back to Bud Billiken, celebrating 91 years. While this historic parade may have begun as a way to thank the original Newsboys, its standing date is the second Saturday of every August meant that it also took on a very important mission, to get kids excited to head back to school. Yes, the Bud Billigan is truly a parade built on education. The whole point of Bud Billiken was to showcase talents and also to promote and support education. Back to school with the Bud! <laughs> Everyone knew when Bud Billiken happened, it's time to prepare for back to school. We all gather in Washington Park and we give away thousands of school supplies, book bags, food. Every year we give away free haircuts. We don't charge anything. Everything is just free for the kids. It's a big source of pride, but it also really strikes at the core of something that I think is critically important, especially in the African American community, which is the power of education. So reminding students that this is a right that you have, that this is a pathway, that this is how you access opportunities in this country is something that I think is, is spectacular. Education is absolutely the key, and I think that this parade does a great deal to motivate, stimulate, and activate children. One of the biggest resources you get from Bud Billiken is school supplies, but also getting them excited uh, about back to school, bringing those different artists or celebrities or um, just prominent people in the community who our youth look up to and saying, we are part of Bud Billiken, we understand education, and we're here for you, and we're excited for you. If you have a good education, then you can demand anything. So young people, go back to school, This is mainly just to celebrate going back to school, and I hope all our young people are ready to really get serious about their homework. This year, we've had to cancel a lot of large events, but my message to students is that I want them to focus on what they've learned and not what they've lost, and to also understand that we're still going to celebrate, we're still going to get excited about the next school year, and make sure that we're prepared and ready to learn in the fall, no matter what that looks like. Stay in school! Stay in school! Stay in school! The fanfare and fun associated with the Bud Billiken can't help but get Chicago students excited about their education. But Chicago Defender Charities, which organizes the parade, is going above and beyond just energizing those students. They have long helped secure college scholarships for some of the city's best and brightest students. Meet the 2020 Billiken Scholarship Class.
I'll be attending Morehouse College in the fall. I'm going to major in biology on the pre-med track. And the uh, long-term goal is to be an orthopedic surgeon. I'm going to Illinois State University. I'm going to Pratt Institute in New York and I'm majoring in photography. I will be majoring in criminal justice. Early childhood education. I will be attending Howard University in the fall, majoring in biology on a pre-med track. Each year we give about twenty-five dollars to $30,000 in scholarships and with the help of our partners and our sponsors. Over the years, we have given away over one and a half million dollars to about 300 students. Receiving this scholarship really does mean a lot to me because it's definitely helping me with my tuition. I really feel like this scholarship is going to help me kind of begin to budget and to understand what I have available. The scholarship is going to help me tremendously. It's, you know, it's an investment in me. The Bud Billiken Parade is it's not just about that one day. It's our major fundraiser. So we're able to give away scholarships. It makes me feel good to know that someone is watching and someone is looking out for the youth. We can continue to see people like me be able to go further, further their education and just get where they want to go in life. We keep up with our students and we hear about uh, their career paths and they've gone on to do some amazing things. I understand the scholarship was built on the premise of paying it forward to people who work hard and it means a lot to me that they're willing to invest in me and my future so I can work hard and you know just pay it back in the future when I get the opportunity. This scholarship as a whole is just really gonna help a lot of people in the future and I hope that they continue doing it. I am very thankful for this scholarship and I just want to give a big thanks to Bud Billiken. I really appreciate it. I will make the best of it. Thank you Bud Billiken and Defender Charities for allowing me to take the next step in my education and allowing me to be able to explore new options and if it wasn't for the scholarships that I would be getting I don't know where I would be right now so thank you immensely. Stay with us. There's still much more ahead on Bud Billiken, celebrating 91 years. Coming up, more heart-pounding dance action. And we're going to tempt your taste buds with our favorite parade fair. Then see how a Bronzeville restaurant has truly embraced this historic parade. What Bud Billiken means to me is an opportunity for us as Chicagoans and, and folks across the globe to come together, join in fellowship, and our uh, Enjoy. That means you enjoy me and my Royal Dows and Royal Gym. Just remember, whatever you do, be safe. At the University of Chicago Medicine, dedicated health professionals work with organizations, community partners, and educators to raise awareness about pediatric asthma in our communities. Asthma is a lifelong condition controlled by eliminating triggers like dust, pet hair, and smoke. Wheezing and trouble breathing are symptoms. See a doctor if you think your child has asthma. Parents with an asthmatic child need a plan. Tell your child's school they have asthma and make sure they always carry a rescue inhaler. Children with controlled asthma can enjoy a normal quality of life. Vigo was founded in the late 1940s by my grandparents, and at that time, they never would have imagined the commercialization of an avocado toast seasoning. Well, let's see avocado toast seasoning. It's an extremely versatile blend of spices. The core of the spice blend is garlic, salt, and pepper, which with that trifecta, it's an excellent basis for pretty much any dish. And it really does fit in with the rest of our Alessi products because it takes a food that people love and makes it convenient and easy for them to prepare at home. We encourage people to try it on anything and everything. When you need to replace your home's windows, you want a brand you can trust. Studio 41 now offers Infinity from Marvin, the best available replacement window built for life. Our energy-efficient glass keeps the elements out. Our Ultrex fiberglass is eight times stronger than vinyl. A complete window solution from Studio 41. Through September, buy one, get one 50% off. Interest-free financing available. Visit ShopStudio41.com to schedule an appointment today. From what I can tell, everyone just wants to help in whatever way they can. There's been a few changes that we've had to implement uh, universally throughout the hospital, but everyone's had a good attitude and we're just putting our best foot forward. That is something that is very clear that's come out of this, is how dedicated the staff is to this mission. We started strong and we're going to end strong. All for your one. All for your one. All for your one. The Service Employees International Union State Council is proud to support the Bud Billiken Day Parade and Festival. SEIU represents hospital, healthcare, airport, and childcare workers, janitors, 
faculty members, and security officers. To join us, call 866-933-7348. Welcome back, everybody, to Bud Billiken celebrating 91 years. Now, along with the bands, the floats, and the drill teams making their way down Dr. Martin Luther King Drive, another fixture at any Bud Billiken parade. You know, it is absolutely the food. It's the food. <laughs> People fire up their grills first thing in the morning. Delicious smells always drift into the broadcast mm -hmm. food. You know, it's a big barbecue. And as ABC 7's Terrell Brown reports, one Brownsville business truly steps up to help feed the masses each Billiken day. And there's the food. Oh, oh my goodness. I'm looking for barbecue this morning. If you got barbecue, look out because I will be in your pit. You can bet on that. This is the source of the smell of vision. I'm working the chicken. I got the hot dogs going, so I'll be over there with a plate for each of you guys in a few minutes. You know, the parade would be a parade without good food. No matter what you have a taste for, chances are you'll find it at the Bud Billiken Parade. Beef bonuses, we have jumbo hot dogs, and we also have steak burgers. It's a great opportunity for those small mom and pop shops to come out. People look forward to that every year. No better food than the summertime Chicago. When there's events happening, and one of the best events in Chicago is the Bud Billiken. Oh, that's not right, Karen. We, it's a team here. Oh, Share. Oh, Jesus. Share. Oh, Did you not learn the concept of sharing when you were younger? I'm sorry, what? You know? What? <laughs> and then you've got the true Southside delicacies. You uh, stick a peppermint right in the middle of that and pickle. It's a juicy, succulent taste. <laughs> the ABC 7 annual snack, snow cone. Yay! So, of course, there's the classic parade fair. But Chicago's home of chicken and waffles can also take credit for bringing everyone together with food. How? Well, every Bud Billiken day, for more than a decade, they have fed block clubs and every police officer along the parade route for free. I took it upon myself to ask the alderman, could I be the one to feed the police? And it just became a tradition. Every year I feed the police. Johnson and his restaurant team have fed the 800 officers up and down the route since his restaurant opened. These days, though, Johnson is taking each day as it comes, navigating the restaurant business in the middle of a pandemic. You laid off for pretty much 85 percent of your staff. But the diners are slowly coming back, both inside and out, to enjoy specialties like their catfish sandwich, peach cobbler, and of course, the chicken and waffles. We call it good old-fashioned soul food, comfort food. Another sign of the times here in Chicago's home of chicken and waffles dining room are these touching Black Lives Matter tribute tables. You see the candles, you see the wreaths, it brings a certain calmness. Without a parade, Johnson won't be feeding the block parties or law enforcement this year, but you can bet his devotion to the bug will be back in 2021. It shows how much Chicago values education. And you can't do anything but want to be a part of it. Nice work, Darnell. And we echo that sentiment. It has been an absolute honor to be a part of the Bud Billiken Parade for all of these years. And we know it'll be back again soon. So thanks for joining us for Bud Billiken, celebrating 91 years. And we want to send out abundant thanks to the Lindblom Math and Science Academy for hosting all of us. So we leave you, everybody, with another look at a couple of the talented teams that normally will strut their stuff down the parade route. Now enjoy the Empire Dance Team and the Golden Elite's Troop in this Bud Billigan Dance Team Spotlight. Cheryl Burton, Jose Sanders, Terrell Brown, and Karen Jordan, thanks for joining us and have a great day.
firm. And my side super soft. Yes, with the Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed on sale now.